This is a rare sight. I feel like y'all don't usually see me without glasses on. Do I look different? I feel like I look different, so. Yeah, but I do know one thing, no. I can't stop working, bro. Saturday through Sunday, um, Monday. The day Monday is kind of like later in the day now. If y'all see me squinting, it's because when I ain't got glasses on, I can't really see that good. <laughs> so right now, it's 1233. I've been up since 8 o'clock this morning working on stuff. Um, I should have been vlogging that, but I was like, you know what, let me just lock in and get as much done as I can, and then I'll show the vlog when I finish it. So, uh, first things first. Oh, I didn't know it was going to still keep recording. Um, first things first, the NBA is back. I can't show the whole screen because the NBA will copyright you. Let me tell you. Um, so, let's switch to that, and then I got this scene exporting right now. This is almost done. And let's see if it'll let me show you the scene that we did before. Oh, it won't. I think I can open it though. I don't know what file is missing. Okay, yeah. So, this is the first scene I did this morning. I can't tell you what project this is for because I don't want to give it away. Um, but it's for a big project and I'm super excited about it. Let's zoom in. So this is what it's going to look like when it gets done. I can't play the sound because I don't want to mess it up. Uh, boom. So I'm going to tap. So he pop out. He talking. And watch how I zoom out. Boom. He had to step back. Like, ooh. This is just some simple stuff that I did earlier today. So that's the first thing. And then the second scene that I did is here. This one's rendering though. So I wouldn't be surprised if it... Um, if it starts acting up as I'm doing this, but here we go. So he's singing, you see them in the back talking, and then you see Buddy over there. I should have took it off of that so it's not highlighting his hood, but yeah. And then they zoom in, boom. They like, oh nah, oh nah, hold on, oh nah. You thought, oh, no. So, yeah, that's the scene I just finished. Um, wait, I'm just so excited for y'all to see the project that this is going on. Like, I feel like y'all going to be so hyped when y'all see it. Um, it's a project I'm working on with another YouTuber, and I am, like, geeked about it, bro. So, that's what I just finished up. I'm getting ready to go downstairs and work on some rug stuff, too. Okay, so, and then we're going to get ready to work on the rugs. Now, last time we talked about this rug, and, uh, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. So, um, next up, we about to get back working on this rug. Now, yesterday, we talked about the glow-in-the-dark yarn. I don't really like how that looks, so I'm going to pull all this glow-in-the-dark yarn out, and then we're going to put white yarn in there, and we're going to make it look real cool. So, that's what I'm about to work on next. Yo, for the last part of today's video, what we're going to do is this tutorial for the body turn. Um, I apologize, my dog's in the background. If you hear them barking, they over here wrestling, being crazy. So yeah, let's get straight to it. So the first thing we want to do, um, actually, as y'all can see over here in, uh, on the right side, I'm going to take everything out of this bone layer because we're going to do it from the start. So we're going to delete this. So first thing you want to do is go over here, hit the plus and hit um you gotta hit bone cool so we're gonna hit bone now after we do that we want to drag that up to the top oh didn't mean to put that in that folder okay so we want to have the bone at the top and then all of the inside like the rest of the pieces of the character under it what i do i rename this so this is the character duke that i'm working on the concept for so then what we're gonna do is click the first thing under our list hold down shift and click to the bottom so now everything is selected once you get everything selected what you want to do is you want to drag that up into your bone layer um, the bone layer is like a group basically so when you go up here and you hit bone it's going to give you that bone that you can put all of your stuff inside because if you don't put all of the pieces of the character inside the bone layer then um like the the bones won't control those pieces of the character if that makes sense so uh, cool so we put we made the bone layer we put all of the pieces of the character inside he don't got shoes let's act like he got shoes 
So next, what we gonna do, I usually like starting from the middle. It's different ways you can rig it. This is just the way that I do it. This is the way I learned how to do it. And this is the way that I've been doing it since. Um, eventually I might switch it up when I find a better method, but this is what we doing. So I start right here and we go over here to uh, add bone. You, you click add bone. Once you click that, I usually drag one around here, another one for the chest, for the neck, and then the head. So that's the first four bones that I usually do. Another thing I like doing is putting one here for the shoulder, for this part of the arm, the forearm, and then the hand. So we go shoulder, um, the top part of the arm, forearm, hand. And then for the legs, what we do, come over here by the first bone that we made, boom, 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 and it's like a click and drag motion. So you're gonna click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Now that's how I like to set my bones up. Uh, I might even, here, let me hit the eyeball on all of these so y'all can see it without the character being under. Boom, this is how I set my bones up. So this is what it'll look like. Now, next what we gonna do, I'm gonna put all this back on because usually it's on. So I'm gonna do it to make it look the way it would look while y'all doing it. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between the select bone and the reparent bone button. So we're going to select this bone. We're going to hit reparent bone and we're going to make sure that the bones is connected to the right place. Now, as you can see, this bone is going all the way to his hand. We don't want that. We want the shoulder bone to connect to the chest bone. Boom. Ain't it a song like that that they used to teach us back in school? Like certain bones connected to other bones. Yeah, that's what we doing. Um, this shoulder is connected to his head. I don't know why. Let's switch that up. Boom. Now that shoulder is in the right place. And do we got any more that's out of place? Down here. This leg right here. Let's connect that to this bone. And then same thing for this other leg. Let's connect that here. Now when all of your bones is connected to the right bones, you're good to go for this part. So foot connected to this, boom, that's connected good. Arms connected good, head connected good. I think the, the main thing is making sure the bone is connected to the bone closest to it. Cause you're not gonna have his hand connected to his shoulder. Or, you know what I'm saying? So just make sure it's connected to the bone right next to it, basically. Okay, now that that's done, we are gonna go through. And the two tools that we really gonna be using, we are gonna be using the select bone tool so that's this one in the top left select bone and we can select our bone and then the next tool that we're going to use you'll see once we get down to that part so let's start off with select bone which bone do we want to work on first to select it let's let's do the head next we're going to go over to the head over on our on our layer setting and we're going to hit this the bind layer tool we're going to click bind layer and bind it to the bone so we click the head bone now we on the head we're going to connect it to that once you click that it's 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 attached to it so then when you move his head boom his head attached to that bone so wherever that bone move that's where his head gonna go next up let's go down to the neck cool let's find the neck on here i got his neck connected to his torso so what I'm going to do is zoom in. Now that I got this bone selected, I'm going to go over here to bind points and I'm going to select everything that connects to that bone. So only these points is what I want to connect there. Then I'm going to go up here to, to the top and click bind points. Now you can tell it's connected to this bone because the points is the same color as the bone. So I, the bone is blue. Now everything all of these points that's blue is connected to that bone and we're going to do that throughout the rest of these bones in his torso area so next boom this middle piece right here i want to connect that to his chest so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna highlight everything that i want it to connect to boom i think that's good we're gonna hit bind points now all those are connected what i like to do up here on the shoulder is leave a couple of these open so I can connect the shoulder to these bones. So when he moves his arm up, that goes with it. Boom, bind points. Let's do the same thing over here. Boom, bind points. Let's get the bottom half. Boom. 
select all of this find points cool now as you go down you just do that for every layer on the side so now his shoulder let's hit this one so it's buying layer and buying point so I, I might have missed a part on this so when I do if I'm doing the whole layer I'm gonna hit buying layer if I'm not doing the whole layer layer I'm gonna do buying point so I can select it to that specific point with the shoulder I'm only doing the I'm doing the whole layer so we gonna click buying layer boom now that's connected to, to that next shoulder we're gonna click the same thing boom connected to that bone half same thing we're gonna buy in the whole layer because the only time you do buying points is when you want you know specific points to be connected to so boom let's bind this layer half let's bind this one Tie. fine i think i did all of them let's go through and check oh nope i didn't do the hands so find this hand bind to this one find the forearm Boom, by the other forearm. So he should be all done now. So now once you get done with that part, you can go up here to where it says manipulate bones. Click that. And now when you select your character, he's going to be rigged. Well, this is a basic rig. So he's going to be rigged and ready to move. You could actually do a whole cartoon with just a character rigged like this. Of course, you wouldn't be able to do head turns or body turns, but if you rig this, I mean, if, if you do this and, you know, have the right angle, this could be a whole scene of just like this. And it would make it a little bit easier because body turns and head turns are a little more difficult. So sometimes if I'm doing a character and I know they're not going to turn from left and right, I'll just have a steel version of them that I can rig up real quick and animate in that scene. But I do have head turns for most of them. What I do nowadays, I do body and head turns from the start just so that I can have every you know every way for that character to be able to move so yeah hit me in the comments if y'all got any questions this is just you know a basic rigging tutorial this is moho 13 i'm probably about to upgrade to 12 i mean i'm about to upgrade to 14 um so yeah but i'm pretty sure the rigging is the exact same in the the other version because this is just a basic rig so the more you know, the more intricate rigs, we'll figure that out once we get on 14. But let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Um, if y'all got any more questions about rigging your character, let me know. I'll, you know, add that in the next vlog. Next vlog, we're going to work on the body turns and stuff like that so we can get more, um, like, we can get more detail with the animations um, for people who want to learn that. So, appreciate y'all. Leave in the comment section down below what other tutorials y'all want to see. And see y'all in the next video.